I am here to show you how you can use Shopify and set up a pre-sale in the back end of your store so that you can properly track your orders. Some big advantages about pre-sale. As a business owner, sometimes you really just don't know what to expect and what's gonna happen. Going the pre-sale route is a great option, even if you want to launch new products down the pipe. You can have a pre-sale for anything. It gives you the finances to purchase things, it gets customers excited, it gives um, your loyal customers a chance to bite at what's new and what you're offering. So pre-sales are a way to go. I am going to walk through how to get that set up in the back of the end of your Shopify store. So what you wanna do is if you're familiar with Shopify and go to your products, and I am just going to choose one of my candles here. I'm just gonna choose my beautiful scent here. And so when you are entering products into the back end of your store, as you prepare for your pre-sale, you're gonna fill this product page out. This is what customers are going to see when they click on that particular scent. It's gonna take them to this product page. And so, um, of course, you wanna enter the title of your scent or your candle. Feel free to add a few images here. Again, this is what the customer will see. This is pretty much just setting up what your product page will look like. What I advise is when you're doing a pre-sale is to absolutely make sure pre-order or pre-sale is as visible as possible so that nobody is confused, right? And so what I recommend is definitely putting pre-order in the title. and make sure it's absolutely noticeable. You don't want to give customers any excuse to wonder where their order is. <laughs> I also recommend one thing that I did was when I was filling out my description page, I also did it here. And then below that, I listed out or explained the terms. Orders will begin to ship out on say 428 and so that way you can bold it you could do whatever whatever makes it something that customers it will stick out to customers and so this is what I did I gave them the time frame so that the, that way they know exactly when the pre-sale in and when they can begin to expect their orders to ship out to begin shipping out so on April 28th for example that is when I will be headed to the post office right and from then the post office well, it will be based on the tracking from there. And so when it comes to doing a pre-sale, you definitely want to make sure you lay out the terms and so that number one, customers are fully aware on when it's gonna happen, you know, when it ends, when they can expect their order, but also make sure you are doing your best to estimate timing. So make sure you give a good window. And when it comes to pre-orders and pre-sales, that's pretty common and popular in the retail world. So customers are not oblivious as to how long things will take to come to them. It's a pre-sale, it's your new business. So they're expecting to wait at you know and take some time. So make sure you also throw some incentives in there. I know for me I, I threw samples or I also threw a discount um, card in there so that way they can come back and have 10% off their next order. I gave them some extra goodies so that way you know they it was worth the wait. <laughs> and so when it comes to setting up your pre-sale what you want to do is go ahead and set your price and so I sell my candles for $15. Cost per item it's not required to enter here but I like to enter it because it, it just you know, it just kind of gives me an idea of what my margin is and how much I'm profiting off of each candle, this, that, and the third. You want to make sure you're charging tax and you're collecting your sales taxes, you know, in your state. That is important. And then here, this is where the pre-sale glory happens, right? And so not only do you want to have check track quantity, right? You want to be able to track how many of this particular scent you're getting 
So that way you know how many of that scent you need to make, but you also want to turn this little baby on. Continue selling without a, when out of stock. And so what that is basically telling Shopify to do is, although you don't have any inventory, you're getting people to buy into you. You're getting people to buy into your product before you've even made it. And so you don't have any inventory. You are technically not in stock of anything. So you're telling Shopify, don't worry about that keep selling and so what's going to happen is when you begin to make sales you're going to see negative numbers so let's say during your pre-sale time let's say 20 people purchase I actually say negative 20 because I don't have anything in stock so um, Shopify is looking at that as a negative number because I chose to tell it to continue to sell although I don't have any in stock so negative 20 when you go to now see what you need to do and how many you need to buy you know that 20 people purchase that is how you tell shopify to do that and then you finish on setting up the rest of everything else this is a physical product you put in the weight and you set up the country and all of that jazz that is probably one of the easiest ways to do it and then once you're pre-sell in i'm very old school what i did is um i just went in to my product page and you know you go see how many orders you have and you begin to track 